Oh, screw it. I gotta do it. Let's do something on the bus. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the layout that we have decided to go with. And I just want to say that making a layout is really hard. You have to prioritize what's important to you and really try to maximize the space, but it's hard. It's hard to make decisions that are permanent. So obviously, we've had a few different layout plans, like dozens. <laughs> This one might be the one. I think it's the one. Is this the one? Yeah, okay, this is the one. At the very front of the bus, this is gonna be cubby slash shoe, coat, mud room, storage shelf that we're gonna custom build. This section here and here over the wheel wells, these will be our two couches. We're gonna have mattresses on here that they're like a small RV size mattress. So these will double as sleeping areas for people when they come to visit and they'll have back cushions on them like a traditional couch, but they won't have any armrests. And you're gonna be able to sit at the dinette from the end of the couch, so there's no armrests. And then there's also gonna be a seat on the other side of the dinette table that will actually be the cabinet, the end of the cabinet, that will be the back of the booth seat. That's gonna basically be exactly the same on this side. Now we have two kitchen counters, five feet on both sides. This is going to have our cooking range, and this is going to have our sink. Over here we have pantry. Just kidding. Over here we have a refrigerator. Over here we have a pantry. Over here we have our bunk beds. Two bunk beds with storage underneath. And they have a little cubby space here. This can be your room in here. So there's going to be a cubby there for each person's bunk. And then over here we have the bathroom. So here's the shower. This is, this is part of the plan that's still evolving. But the toilet and the shower will be in this space. We just haven't figured out how with the door, the emergency door that we're going to be keeping. The two wheel wells are both our closets. This whole back area is going to be a king size bed with storage underneath with a little shelf unit over here for our personal items and then a, another cabinet up here to store more things. And All that's right. it. Sweet. What do you think about our house, baby? All right, so I want to tell you about some of the more logistical elements of the build. One of them is that the front of the bus is essentially a mudroom. It's not going to be as well insulated. It's going to be a little bit more rugged and stock. So we're going to have this big curtain that's going to span this whole length, and that'll separate you from the door, the huge window, the big driver's window, and that'll help us keep some of the cold air and some of the hot air inside. Another important element of the build is that this is the pantry, but it's also the electrical station. The bottom half of this is gonna have batteries, it's gonna have the electrical panel, it's gonna have this wiring chase. Underneath this is the undercarriage storage, and the gray water tank is gonna hang from the frame rails under there. It's gonna be about 100 gallons. Back here underneath the bed, we've got two 42 gallon uh, water tanks. They're gonna be piped together, and your plumbing run is gonna basically be along this wall here with a pump in this closet. And that's a lot of it. Not all of it, but that's how our bus is going to function.